Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to the fastest sports cars video where I show the best fully upgraded sports cars in terms of lap time. For all the information you need about this series, check the original sports cars video or wait for the 2018 version of the sports cars video which will contain everything, but otherwise let's see where the new Hot Ring Sabre and GB200 fall into that list. And both of them are kind of, you know, that middle ground in the sports cars class. But the GB200, which we have here in 36th place overall with a lap time of 1 minute 7.270, is actually well within that rally car area. And it's very well balanced with the other rally cars. So we had the Comet Safari, as we just saw, in 37th place. Uh, we've got the Omnis, which is in 34th place now that we won't see in this video. Then we've got the Tropos Rally in 31st place that we'll see at the end as well. There's a lot of the, the rally cars in the sports cars class that are all very, very close together and they're all well balanced with each other as well. This has a off-road traction loss of, I believe it's 0 0.375. Uh, so it, it, it's good off-road. It's quite tricky to handle. It's not the, the easiest vehicle to drive and obviously it does have all of these new handling flags that these cars from this update have. So over bumps, it's not as effective as some other cars uh, and, and it will not be able to make some jumps in some of the stunt races that for example the Tropos and the Omnis were able to do when they were first released but having said that a 107.2 lap time is right in the middle of the the sports cars class in 36th place but ultimately it's how it balanced it is with these rally cars and it's very very well balanced indeed so it can be used against the Comet Safaris, the Omnis, the Tropos for rally off-road style races with these sports cars. So next we jump only to 33rd place, we're only missing out the Omnis in 34th because the Hot Ring Sabre is in 32nd. Again there's a lot of cars here that are all very very close in terms of lap time. You can see that the Hot Ring Sabre gets a 1 minute 7.034. We had the GB200 that was a 1 minute 7 as well and a lot of all of these cars that we've seen so far from 32nd uh, all the way down to 37th we're all one minute seven lap time so there's only half a second separating you know a good four or five cars the hot ring saber isn't too bad in terms of top speed and we will obviously see the top speed testing video later as well but it, it just it just doesn't have an awful lot of traction you know it's not really certainly up there in terms of the level of traction that the top cars in the sports class have things like the felza the energy that kind of stuff so it's just it's just kind of a bog standard sports car like we saw from the Sprunk Buffalo, like we've seen in the past with the Drift Tampa, things like that. They're just kind of they're nothing special, you know. If they were in their own class, uh, it would be quite interesting to race them because there's a lot of cars that are very very close together in terms of lap time. But because they're stuck in this sports cars class, with obviously the Pariah being the number one that demolishes everything. There's, they're just really useless and the sports class has you know 55 vehicles now which is just kind of ridiculous to be honest and, and makes it's pretty disappointing that you know there's a class of 55 vehicles that only one of which is worth having in a race and that is obviously the pariah just because it's so quick around a track and in terms of top speed as well so you know they're okay. There is still another sports car to come from this update in the in the in the form of the Flash GT. But all of these new cars have these same handling flags that uh, make them act very differently. But they're not really making them an awful lot slower. The cars just in general aren't very quick. Just when you look at all the other stats and things, you can't just blame these handling flags that are new. They're just a new way of programming cars. But even if they were removed these cars still wouldn't be all that quick. The same goes for the Entity and the, uh, the, the Taipan that we saw yesterday as well. They're just, they're just not that quick, you know, and, and that's just how it is. So kind of, you know, it's an interesting car. At least the Hot Ring Sabre, it has a use, you know, there is a reason to buy it because it's the only vehicle you can use in the new Hot Ring style of races. But beyond that, you don't really want to be using it in, you know, sports car races in general because it's just not on the pace. And the GB200, it, uh, it's a great addition to the rally class, a very interesting car. Um, so that's pretty much how it is, but obviously in comparison to the Pariah, it's nowhere. 
So that's pretty much it for this video. Obviously remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, subscribe for more and consider supporting on Patreon. Thank you all so much for your support. I really, really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time.